Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart, that you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. Morning, Desmond. Yeah. Hi. down, Desmond. Should you cause a disturbance, it is wise to leave you. Amin, Altair. You've done well. Three of the nine lay dead. And for this you have my thanks. But do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. Salah Hadin is surely aware of this, and so he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. Would you have me kill them both then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. It will be many days before they meet, and while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat, the men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abun Dukud, the wealthiest man in Damas, Majduddin, regent of Jerusalem, William of Montferrat, Liege Lord of Akka. What are their crimes? Greed, arrogance, the slaughter of innocents. Walk amongst the people of their cities. You'll learn the secrets of their sins. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. Another of your items is restored. Take it. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls we might better understand their intentions. And Altair, take care. Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. They'll be more suspicious than they've been in the past.
careful. Please, don't do that. I could have been hurt. I could have been killed. Hey, would you please not do that again? what Talal can offer. The comforts of a fine life can be yours. Who knows what the future holds? What tragedies tomorrow may bring? Defend against an uncertain future. Protect the ones you love. Work hard and you will be rewarded. Talal provides. to me or speak to God. It's your choice. You won't stop the work he does. Cannot stop it. Stop what? What work? He prepares them for the journey. Journey where? They are held in his warehouse. And when the time comes, they are sent to Akka. Where is this warehouse? And why Akka? Talal tells me what I need to know. Nothing more. It is safer that way. For him, perhaps. Though not, I fear, for you. <laughs> what happened? Do I look like a merchant? Altair! It seems I've made some enemies. Al Mualem asked that I shadow the slave trader. And I did. Though not well enough. He discovered me, and I've been running from his men ever since. I need to get out of the city, but I can't do it alone. Help me, and I'll share what I've learned with you. Ah! 
have your head! Thank you, brother. Take this map. It lists Talar's hiding places. Useful information should that coward choose to run instead of fight. And from what I know of the man, run is what he'll do. Altair before me. What an honor. You must be here for a very important mission. Maybe I could help you. I have been eavesdropping and I have learned much. However, I have erred. I had some Masieth flags to deliver to the bureau leader, but I lost them when attacked by thugs. Could you find them for me? I must be back to my mentor before he returns from the market, so you must be fast as the wind. That is great. I knew I could count on you, Master Altair. Here is what I learned from listening to the guards near the Dome of the Rock. They were talking about the man named Talal. They said he has many loyal followers, all of whom will readily give their lives for the man. Their master is in danger. They are sure to intervene, giving Talal time to escape. That is all I know. I hope my small contribution will help. take action, it falls to us to do something. What you propose is madness, but necessary. How many more will we allow to go missing before the people take a stand? It does not affect us. Not yet. 
But if we continue to do nothing, it will. And what do you propose? I've watched the man. Learn everything there is to know about his operation. It's all here on a map I've made. He inspects his stock every day at the same time. This is when I'll strike. So you have a piece of paper. It won't save you when you're discovered. Won't shield you from their swords and arrows. If all goes well, it won't come to that. Anyway, it's a risk I'll have to take. Wish me luck, my friend. Indeed, you'll need it. He's a coward. If it wasn't for the money, I'd be long gone. You're either stupid or blind. Maybe it's both. How can you say that? You didn't see what happened. I saw well enough. Our caravan was attacked, and the first thing he did was flee. No, he didn't run. What are you talking about? Do you forget what became of the men who attacked us? Filled by our archers, thanks be to God. Not our archers. Him. Alone. So you're saying he saved us? Yes, he headed for higher ground, and used his bow to kill them. I... I had no idea. The man's a master archer. You do well to remember that. what happened here. Are you quite done? You there, yes, you, come, come, see what I do of us. Welcome, I have everything. Safety and peace, Altair. We live in harsh times, do we not? I am in an ocean of trouble. I had a mission to investigate some strange disappearances in the rich district, and Talal's men saw my face. My status is compromised. Would you be kind enough to eliminate them for me in exchange for the information you seek? Anywhere else, I swear it. You there? Yes, you. Come, come. Leave with that door, 
Altair, you're rid of the ones who knew me? Excellent. Here's what I learned about Talal. He's a powerful slaver who occupies an area north of town, near the Barbican. He pays a tribute to the city guards so he can operate in the shadows. But from what you showed me today, I'm sure he will share the same fate as the others. Thank you again, Altair. Safety and peace, Malik. Your presence here deprives me of both. What do you want? Al Muallam has asked. Asked that you perform some menial task in an effort to redeem yourself. So be out with it. Very well. Here's what I know. He traffics in human lives, kidnapping Jerusalem citizens and selling them into slavery. His base is a warehouse located inside the Barbican, north of here. As we speak, he prepares a caravan for travel. I'll strike while he's inspecting his stock. If I can avoid his men, Talal himself should prove little challenge. Little challenge? Listen to you. Such arrogance. Are we finished? Are you satisfied with what I've learned? No. But it will have to do. Rest, prepare, cry in the corner. Do whatever it is you do before a mission. Only make sure you do it quietly. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Call me that. I only wish to help them, as I myself was helped. You do no kindness imprisoning help them me. like this. Imprisoning them? I keep them safe, preparing them for the journey that lies ahead. What journey? It is a life of servitude. <laughs> you know nothing. It was folly to even bring you here, to think that you might see and understand. I understand well enough. Show yourself. the man who called you here. You did not call me here. I came on my own. <laughs> did you? Who unbarred the door? Cleared the path? Did you once raise your blade against a single man of mine, huh? No. All this I did for you. Step into the light, then, and I will grant you one final favor. I stand before you. What is it you desire? Come down here. Let us settle this with honor. Why must it always come to violence? It seems I cannot help you, for you do not wish to help yourself. And I cannot allow my work to be threatened. You leave me no choice. You must die. <laughs> Yeah. 
secrets with me. My part is played. The Brotherhood is not so weak that my death will stop its work. What Brotherhood? Al Mualim is not the only one with designs upon the Holy Land. And that's all you'll have from me. Then we are finished. Beg forgiveness from your God. He's long abandoned us. Long abandoned the men and women I took into my arms. What do you mean? Beggars, whores, addicts, lepers. Do they strike you as proper slaves? Unfit for even the most menial tasks? No. I took them not to sell, but to save. And yet you'd kill us all. For no other reason than it was asked of you. No. You profit from the war. From lives lost and broken. Yes. You would think that, ignorant as you are. Wall off your mind, eh? They say it's what your kind do best. Do you see the irony in all this? No, not yet, it seems. But you will. Wonderful to see you return to us. And how fared the mission? The deed is done. Talal is dead. Oh, I know, I know. In fact, the entire city knows! Have you forgotten the meaning of subtlety? A skilled assassin ensures his work is noticed by the many. No! A skilled assassin maintains control of his environment. We can argue the details all you'd like, Malik. But the fact remains I've accomplished the task set to me by Al Muallim. Go then. Return to the old man. Let us see with whom he sides. You and I are on the same side, Malik. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Now. I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the Animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something. How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. He's always yelling at you. It's his machine. His theories. He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> no. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have. But I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under a lot of pressure. We all are. I can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life. So if he wants to yell a little, let him. What do you mean he saved your life? You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? 
When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. It was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? He said he'd been following my career since undergrad, that he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job? Yes, here at Abstergo, helping out on the Animus Project. I'd have a chance to test my theories and prove the professors wrong. How could I turn that down? I think I'm missing the part where you became a prisoner. Sometimes I wonder if they weren't behind at all. If they manipulated events so that I'd get desperate. They can do that. They can do anything. I didn't think when I agreed to come here. They even told me I'd be trapped. For six months, a year max. Once the product launched, there'd be no need for secrecy anymore. But until then, I'd be a guest of the company. At least, that's what they said. And when the Animus was ready? They came in while I was sleeping. Three guys. Guns. They dragged me out of bed. God. The worst part is I knew them. One guy, Richard, we ate lunch together sometimes. And now he was gonna... They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again, and he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nutjobs. But I'm alive. Anyway, I really do need to get the Animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond. What the hell? Someone's been in here. Looks like some kind of access code.